Okay, so this video note is about how to do post processing in Postpack for hydrographic survey data using a method called primary marine star navigation. So in order to do that, the first step is I need to create a project. Because I already have a similar project, so I just say as in here I'm going to call it uh, marine star nav. It will take a while, and then during waiting for that, I'm going to read a little bit about the method, which is in here, a primary Omni Star Nap. So in this processing mode, the Postpack MMS software computes a loosely coupled integration of the initial data and the real-time primary GNSS Omni Star. It can be VBS, HP, XP, G2 solution, former Trimble, BD. 960 GNSS receiver with integrated Omnistar corrections enabled in loosely coupled mode. Some of Planet's post products contain this receiver. This mode enables you to view the Omnistar navigation solution if a more accurate post process solution cannot be had for like a base received data. So I'm not sure how uh, actually implemented uh, under that. So it's interesting that they call primary Omni Star Nap Nap and primary Marine Star Nap. Okay, so in this method, it's uh, so we're gonna load data for this, and it's called Marine Star Nap. So that that means that means that that means that the data, the correction data, is Marine Star. But when I I open the report and I read the report, and the correction data is actually called Omnistar VBS. So if the correction data which is Omnistar VBS, the inside software here it should list an option called primary marine star, not primary Omnistar. But I don't know, there's something wrong with this now. But at least it go marine star VBS here. That's correct for VBS. But it's confusion, this is confusing, which is Omnistar or Marine Star. Of course, both Marine Star and Omnistar is provided by Trimble. It's the same provider, so sometimes it's not really distinguished. It really doesn't matter. Um, but uh, here I'm going to read another description about, so what is the difference between primary, pri uh, primary Omnistar nap and primary Marine Star nap? So in this, so the method is actually primary Marine Star nap. In this processing mode, the post-pack MMS software computes a loosely coupled integration of the initial data and the real-time primary marine star nav, nav solution. This mode enables you to use the marine star navigation solution if a more accurate post-process solution cannot be had for like a base received data. So it doesn't really say, okay, what are you actually using under the hood? I mean, Marine Star, okay. Let's say Marine Star, Marine Star, Marine Star, Marine Star, Marine Star. Yeah, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, that's all. All the information I get from 250 pages manual. But let's get to the and then see how accurate we can get from this processing post-processing method. So I would say this is a uh, post-processing method. I would say it's a precise point positioning method. I would say that. Can I say that? No, it's actually using using SPAT, which is the way of correction method. So it's not really, it's not really a point positioning method. But I would say the point positioning, which is a post-processing method, uh, I, I can classify it. It's not, sometimes it's not clear because it's, it's uh, the method of uh, post-processing GNSS data now is improving. So I think I will, if it's for it's me, I will classify it as, as uh, a side point positioning method. The reason why, because it doesn't use a base station data. But I will say that it's a the side point positioning method. And under the hood it's called, and this method is actually using uh, SPAT correction together with uh, navigation data and um, ionosphere model and also uh, the side and uh, accurate uh, GNSS, um, yeah, GNSS um, ephemeris uh, plot. Mm. So that is a method. So basically, it's one of the post-processing method. 
And so when we're going to use this method, when we do view, when we do have uh, SPAS marine star or only star correction during real-time survey, and we want to improve the real-time a little bit, and then uh, let, let's go to the result. Let's see so if the result of this method compare with real-time, uh, which one is better. Uh, we, we don't have any base station in the area, or we cannot accept to that because uh, cannot be set up a base station or there's no available course uh, continuous uh, operation positioning system point a station around or, or it's open sea so it's too far from land so there's no base station around um, and I believe this um, and then let's see and let's compare this method with the uh, PPP and it's going to be interesting because this use the S path correction with navigation, and one it doesn't doesn't use S path. It ignores the S path. And let's see which one is better. So a lot of the case people don't have base station, and we think that we we cannot be improve the data because we don't have base station. Actually, we can use this method to improve the uh, navigation data uh, for hydrographic surveying or any kind of surveying using mobile mapping. So the method is the same. I'm going to go to GNSS initial processing. I'm going to go to uh, primary marine standard. It's different from PPP the sign point positioning. It's different from infusion PPP. In this method, I don't need to download anything. The computation is just using the all available um, data inside the project. So I'm going to hit the run here and let's see how it goes. Uh, I think the speed is pretty good, but you can see the estimation accuracy here. So let me open the um, let me open the the shape, uh, PPP method infusion PPP report because I want to compare it. Uh, let's let's open the report here. Or let's open this using the well. Yeah, let's open it here. So this is SPAT's uh, VABS from this uh, No, I don't like this. No, it's not the one that I'm, I'm using. No, no, it's not the one that I'm using. So it's inside auto here, admission and report. And I have to report. I'll open the report. Okay, infusing autonomous. And I also have um, this one here. The processing is finished. I will go to report, generate report for this marine star map method. I should say into marine star map here, mission report and say. Of course, I need to override. I need to override. Yeah, absolutely, I need to override. This this processing is just running behind the hook, so I can put the result here. I can compare it later. Button. I know it's very small, but it's very really convenient for me to like, have like, 10 windows open at the same time. And then done the report, I need to go to there, and select it, okay, I can compare. So this is Infusion Auto, Auto of course not as good at that, Infusion Auto. How about PPP? So this is PPP, any level of uh, accuracy is 0.2 meter. Let's go to post-processing of, of uh, Marine Star data. It bring the accuracy up to 0.12 meter for uh, horizontal data so it's absolutely better so in terms of the the place that we have good positioning satellites it can bring the accuracy up to like one zero point one meter which is incredible but for ppp the zero point plus three centimeter is better okay so that's interesting does that mean uh for for s pass for SPAT post processing, we can achieve better if the uh, navigation data is not so good. So that mean that mean that uh, I would say the take home message for me is that uh, marine star navigation method is gonna be really helpful for uh, for doing survey inside the shallow water or inside ports and harbor. Why? Because there are a lot of obstruction, and then the level accuracy will be better. Even the highest level accuracy is not as good as PPP. You can see here the PPP methods provide 0.3 cm sometimes, a level of, of uh, horizon to uncertainty. But for, for SPAS, Marine Star or Omnistar can only achieve 0.1 meter level accuracy.
But the good thing about Marinstein Omnistar is that they it, it, this post processing processing solution in Prospect provide more consistent results. So the PPP result is not consistent as this one. So the PPP is ranging or varying from 0 0.3 to 3 cm to 20 cm. But for this one, for the for the post-processing of S-Pass, it provides a pretty consistent from 0 0.1 m to 0 0.13 m, which is in, which is incredible. So this is the, is the advantage of using uh, post-processing data of marine star data or, or S-Pass data, which is which is not commonly known by a lot of people, even by myself, before having access to post-pack and really has some time to dive into and investigate the how to process data in post-pack and different different methods of processing data inside post-pack. So the next thing I need to do which is make some plot. I have some plot here, I just take this plot it to the folder which is Marine Star Lab report and it should be it should be this one. Actually it should be Omni Star here. Yeah. I don't know why it has the S back Omni Star here inside. It's wrong. I need to delete it. Marine Star Lab. I override it. Ah no. And it's post processing. If this one you need to say that post processing is real time. And I see that. So real time. That's fast. And this one is real time. And this one it talks processing as well. Why did I send it? Cool. And I have here I just import it. You can see here the level of accuracy for for depth is also very good. It's zero point two meter, which is incredible. It's 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 not as good as Thai observation. But it's, it's acceptable for application, uh, hydrographic surveying application just at order 1A. This is incredible. Um, nah, 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 nah. Let's say that here. So we can do this. We can absolutely do this. Post process is fast only start using vertical group and square. Then do that. And then I finish this. I save this. And uh, that's it. So that's it for. Uh, for this note on how to how I use postpack to post processing data of uh, hydrographic survey navigation data and positioning data without a base station using uh, postpack MMS uh, with the processing method is primary marine star now and basically it's a version it's a pro pro post process version of uh, primary marine uh, marine star navigation in combination with um, heading sensor and the uh, motion sensor. I'm not sure behind the hood it's using any uh, GPS accurate, accurate GPS log and ionosphere in 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 ionosphere model in ionosphere model or ephemeris precise ephemeris uh, GPS clock uh, or not. But basically, this is a version, it's a process version, not the real time version of S Pass Marine Star Map. And the result is impressive. This is uh, consistent more than the PPP method inside Postpack. And uh, my take home message and my understanding a bit, and this is helpful for coastal navigation mapping application. For someone don't have base station or sometimes they're lazy just using this method, and it can still achieve some certain level of, uh, of accuracy. And that's it for this note.